Hello, welcome back to another vlog. It is later in the day. Christian and I finally just decided on dinner, kind of. We're deciding between two places and they're right next to each other. I wanted to go ahead and start off a vlog because I haven't just laid in bed literally all day and watched YouTube. That's it. And now here we are. I just got this chapstick in from Lux Unfiltered and I'm I love it. It's so good. I originally got the original one that she came out with and I don't like that formula or consistency. It's really oily and liquidy and it just like falls off your lips if that makes sense. I just don't love it. I don't have it on me. It's actually at my office on my desk. I just keep it there as like an extra chapstick. But I got her new formula that she just came out with i think like a couple months ago it's called the number 15 soothing lip serum and it's like pillowy not too sticky and it's like if you love the road lip balm you would love this because i think it's better also i didn't understand this at first but everyone talks about the cooling lip app applicator and it is cold to the touch like every time it touches your lips it's cold and i love that it's almost like addicting to put on because it's so cooling and the soothing formula and consistency is really nice so i can link this down below i actually ordered another one and it just came in today because i need it in my work bag and i need it at home it's really good so i can link it down below um definitely recommend the new formula because a lot of people said that the old formula was just not good and i agree it's not good when i first got it i liked it but now that i've tried new and different lip balms i now understand that it's not that good but this one is really good with the cooling applicator i've never had a lip balm that has like the cooling applicator it's so nice so i'll link it but we're gonna go eat some dinner and then we're gonna go to Trader Joe's, do a late night, not like late night, but like an 8 p.m. Trader Joe's run on a Saturday night. And hopefully it's not that busy. So that's what's going on. Wanted to start off the vlog and welcome you back to another video. So we're gonna eat some dinner, then go to Trader Joe's, and then I'll obviously do a Trader Joe's haul when we get home. from Trader Joe's. I don't know why they have the Christmas bags year round, but they do. Okay, let's go through each bag. We got four bags. First, orange chicken, fried rice, barbecue teriyaki chicken. We haven't tried this before. Cauliflower gnocchi. Got more of our center cut fillets that we love to get at Trader Joe's. We got two of those. We're gonna vacuum seal them, put them in the freezer. Bag number one. Sourdough bread. Maybe we got two of these. Pasture raised eggs. These are so much cheaper at Trader Joe's than they are at Publix right now, so we don't even need eggs. I just got a carton last weekend from Publix, but we were already there and I'm not gonna go to Trader Joe's next weekend or the weekend after when I need eggs, so just picked them up. Really wanted to try this. People have been mixing it with poppies in the evening because apparently tart cherry is really good for sleep. So I'm excited. People like mix some of this with a poppy before they go to bed or like with dinner and it helps them go to sleep. So it has pomegranate, tart cherry, mulberry, red grape, purple carrot, cranberry, and blueberry juices. So, thought it'd be good to try. I'm so excited because I haven't gotten these from Trader Joe's in probably like six months because they've been out. But I got two of the hash browns. I'm so excited. Bag number two. Oh, Christian got these chili spiced mangoes. Dried mango. Sounds pretty good. 
got some of these jalapeno chomp beef sticks, these bomba puffed peanut and corn snacks with hazelnut cream filling, more fried rice, We're running out of room. I got Go Macro Bars. I love having these in the afternoon before my workout and I believe they're like a little bit cheaper at Trader Joe's than they are at Publix, so I got some more of those. Spanish style rice. These are little easy sides for dinner. Ice cream sandwiches, these are so good. Haven't gotten these in a while. Ginger shots, these are the best. So I got four of those. Uh, cauliflower, rice, stir fry, love this stuff. Mashed potatoes. And this is so good. I tried it a couple weeks ago for the first time and it's the shawarma chicken thighs. These are really good and I wanted to get them and have Christian try them because it's really good. That's bag number three. And then last bag, lentil and chickpea crisp. Christian picked these out. Christian also saw this. I feel like I've seen this on TikTok, but I could be wrong. Um, squiggly knife cut style noodles with soy and sesame sauce. And just to have. Chunky guacamole for the elote corn chips. Mini beef tacos. These are just good to keep in the freezer. I think they're good. I remember getting them a couple years ago and they were so much better a couple years ago, but they're still really good to have in your freezer as like a quick lunch. Avocado oil spray. I got a green juice. I haven't juiced in a while. Remember when we were on our juice kick? Picked up this, I'll have probably it tomorrow morning. Got these chimichurri chicken thigh skewers. Never had these before. Don't know if they're good or not. That's the haul. I'm gonna put all this away and then I'm gonna shower and get in bed and watch some YouTube. I'll pick up the camera in the morning. morning or oh my god not morning it is 101 degrees outside or is it just 101 degrees in this car and it's probably so hot in here from like baking in the sun i have this little sun protector thing okay i ran out of memory but what i was saying was this i keep this on my dash and i try to remember to put it up when i get home from work or when i'm out and about when i get home it helps my car not get so hot and it helps protect the dash too, but it still gets so hot. I mean, it is June in Florida, so it just is so hot here. But heading out, I'm gonna go to the grocery store, pick up some things that I didn't get at Trader Joe's yesterday because some of the Trader Joe's produce didn't look that good. And I wanted to get strawberries for this week and the strawberries just look kind of like moldy and not as good which i find to be like a regular thing at trader joe's i don't normally buy their produce because i feel like it doesn't last that long but i'm gonna go do that get some like other little things um for lunch meal prep this week from publix i placed a target pickup order of just olipops because they have some really good flavors at target that they don't carry at publix that's about it it's father's day 
I'm gonna go to my dad's house later today and um, do dinner with my siblings and Christian and just like hang out with him for Father's Day to celebrate. And then next weekend, we're actually going out of town. The whole entire family is going to Vero Beach next weekend. Um, so my dad is retired. He's actually 80, turns 81 this year. He's been retired for a couple of years now. It's probably like over six or seven years since he retired. It's definitely over that. We are going down to Vero next weekend, the whole entire family. And my dad has a boat in Vero. We've had the boat for a while, probably like over 10 years. We've had it in Vero Beach and we've spent like a couple holidays down there. We go down there regularly. My dad actually goes down there all the time because obviously he's retired. So um, we're gonna go down there, stay the night on the boat, take the boat out and I'll be vlogging too. So I'll bring you guys along for that weekend. But that's how we're gonna celebrate with the whole entire family because half of my family is out of town this weekend for Father's Day. So we're all gonna get together with my older brothers and sisters and their families, my nieces and nephews all next weekend and do like a Father's Day thing then. And I'm really excited to get out of town, get some sun, be with family. There's nothing better than being with family. So I'm excited to bring you guys along for that. Christian is also coming. So we're gonna road trip probably down there Saturday morning, stay the night and then come home Sunday, maybe go to like the beach club on Sunday, get some sun, get some lunch and then head home on Sunday like afternoon. So I'm excited, I'm really excited. So I'm gonna head to the grocery store and then head home. Okay, I just got home from the grocery store and I need to put all my groceries away. I also picked up a Target pickup order of Olipops and I got some fun flavors. I also picked up this orange poppy pack. I got the orange poppies to mix with this juice that I got yesterday. It's like a little nighttime drink because the tart cherry, I think I mentioned that yesterday. Um, Target. I got a four pack of the Olipop strawberry vanilla. I think this is my favorite Olipop flavor. It's so good. At first I didn't love it, but I've been so recently obsessed with it. So I got a four pack of that. I got two lemon limes. I don't think I've tried this flavor yet before, but I guess it's supposed to kind of mimic a Sprite. Got orange squeeze, the Dr. Goodwin. The Olipop Dog Pop is actually one of my favorite Olipops and, not Olipops, what am I saying? Doc Pop Poppy is one of my favorite poppies and I haven't tried the Dr. Goodwin one and I think this is supposed to kind of mimic a Dr. Pepper. So I got that one and then two cherry cola flavors, which I haven't tried yet either. Okay, Christian and I are making some really quick lunch that's easy. I just got these from Target the other day. Never tried them, and I think they'll be pretty good, so we're gonna put them on a wrap. So I got the Siete almond flour tortillas, this chicken lettuce. We're gonna do blue cheese crumbles, a little bit of buffalo since they already have buffalo on them. Put them in the air fryer and then cut them up, put it in a bowl with some of this ranch on top. We're gonna make little, I guess tacos because we can't really make this style tortilla into a wrap without it falling apart, but. I've got one, I don't know, like. Okay, we just got home from my dad's house and I'm gonna make the drink that I've mentioned with the power of the seven purple juice blend and then an orange poppy. And of course, I'm gonna do it in a fun glass, a little wine glass. So maybe I'll just hold it up. Maybe I'll do about that much. It's getting everywhere and it's purple. And then I'm gonna do this. 
And it's like a mocktail. Wow, it's sweet. It's really good. Ton of flavor. The orange is probably the best poppy to do it with. Um, I'm trying to think of like another poppy. Like you don't want to do it with the soda ones. You want to do it with like the juice ones, like the orange, maybe the watermelon. But it's really good with the orange. There's just so many flavors already in this. There is red grape in it. So if you like the grape poppy, it might be good with the grape, but I don't like the grape poppy. I think it's actually just so gross. It's the only poppy flavor that I just physically won't drink. I won't drink any of the other ones. Like I'd be happy with any other flavor. The grape one, I don't like at all, but give it a try. Let me know what you guys think. Really great mocktail to have and really yummy with health benefits too, because poppy is good for your gut. And then this has just tons of nutrients and benefits as well so give it a try let me know what you think wanted to try it on camera because i've seen it and i wanted to give it a try as well so i'm gonna drink this and i think christian and i are gonna split an ice cream sandwich i really want to sit on the balcony it's so nice outside i think my favorite thing to do is sit outside around the evening time before it gets dark outside and it just is so relaxing to me it's definitely the best way that I relax just being outside and it's not like super hot outside at this time so it's still like hot obviously because it's Florida in June but mm -hmm. 